Within Studio One Seven, we now have the ability to import songs and separate it into its individual components using stem separation. So let's go ahead and take a look at that in this video. And I brought in one of my old songs here so I won't get a copyright strike. Let's go ahead and skip ahead a bit and give a listen to how this song sounds. But I'm riding on the fly. Feel the groove, get in the mood. There's nothing to do tonight. So when you come around, you know why. Okay, so now to begin this process is pretty straightforward. We can just come to the audio event of the song that we would like to separate into stems and we'll right click on it. And then we can come down to the audio section here and then we can go to our audio processing area and then we can see that we have separate stems. Now, if you don't want to dig through the menu like this, you can always use the shortcut key, control U. So while this event is selected, that's what I'll do, control U. We then have a window that pops up here where we can see we have select stems to extract. Now, by default, all of these are gonna be selected like so. And we have four different options so we can create a stem for vocals, for drums, for bass, and for other. This is just gonna be other instrumentation. So with all of these selected, we'll go ahead and separate into the four stems and then we'll go ahead and click OK. Now we do also have this consolidation option here and we'll come back to that in just a moment, but we'll start off with separating into these four stems. Let's click OK. This is gonna go through its process. Now I have already done a test on this and I'm on a slower computer because it's a bit old. Uh, it took about approximately five minutes for me. These numbers go down as it moves along, but if you're on a faster system, then it should go pretty quickly for you. So we'll come back in just a moment when this is finished and give it a listen to the stems. Okay, so the processing is complete and we have our original song and audio event up at the top and this is grayed out because Studio One has automatically muted this after the processing is complete. So if I come up to the mute tool and make that active and click on this, we can see this event is muted, not the track. Uh, we'll come back to the arrow tool and then our stems have been placed into, let's uh, shift and W to zoom out a bit so we can see a bit more that's going on here. Our stems have been placed in a folder track. So if I click on that folder, we can collapse those. Uh, and then let's go ahead and just take a listen to each of these and see how they sound. So we'll solo. First of all, uh, we've got our vocals here. We'll roll the windows down. You know why, you know why. And lay your worries down. You know why, you know why. Hey, baby, come around. You know why. Makes people wanna fly. You know why, you know why. Okay, now let's check out our drums. And our bass. And finally, our other instrumentation down at the bottom. Okay, so I think it's pretty cool. I'm not sure I would ever use it for any of my music, maybe for some utilitarian purposes, but it's kind of like magic and I can only imagine what this is gonna be like in another two or three years. Technology improves by leaps and bounds. Now, we talked about the consolidation and this is another super cool thing. So let's go ahead and take this out of solo and we will control Z to undo all of this. And with our song selected and highlighted, I'm gonna control U, bring up our stem separator here. 
Now at the bottom we have this consolidate and this selected stems are bounced to new track. So what does that mean? We'll go ahead and select that. And actually I'm not able to. Let's, uh, because they're all selected right now, let's say that we would like our vocals and our drums consolidated into one new audio event, one new audio file. So we'll deselect our bass, and now you can see that that becomes active. We'll also take away the other as well. So right now what we're saying is, hey, combine the vocals and the drums into a new audio file and leave out our bass and other instrumentation. So we'll go ahead and click OK, and then we'll come back when this is finished and check out how that sounds. Okay, our consolidation is now complete, and as we saw before, our original song, our original audio event is muted, and we don't have a folder track in this in instance. We just have one audio file or one audio event that has combined our drums and our vocals. So let's go ahead and give a listen to how that sounds. Okay, so not so bad. I mean, we've got some artifacts in there, but for what it's actually doing, it's still kind of like magic to me. So anyhow, this is the new stem separation in Studio 1.7. I hope this tutorial has been helpful. And if you're interested in training or learning Studio 1 with me on Zoom, I do offer one-on-one -on -one training. So feel free to check out the description area of this video or the pinned comment below for more information. And otherwise, I hope to see you in the next tutorial, and thanks for watching.